Hey guys, what's up? Hey Barbies and Kens and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gab and I'm not gonna lie to you today, um, I'm in excruciating, excruciating pain. I threw on a little bit of makeup so I didn't look like I'm dead. My baby boy, Stuart, is right here with me because he knows I don't feel well. Um, today I'm having a flare with my disease. If you didn't know, I have something called fibromyalgia and I freaking hate it a lot it's it, it's been bad uh, a lot of these days leading up today to today have been really rough on my body but today is the worst my back hurts my legs are throbbing everything just hurts I've been laying on the couch then getting up and flopping off the couch and I was like you know what we have so many boxes to go still guys I kind of have to film something even though I look like crap today so I apologize for my appearance um, but some of you longtime users know, users, users of the Gab. I sound like I'm a freaking drug. Anyways, users of the Gab know. <laughs> I get sick a lot and I don't feel well and yeah, it's not a good time. So I figured maybe this will make me feel a little bit better. And I love how I started the video now. It's like overcast from before it was like so sunny. So maybe when I get into this, we'll get some sun. But let me move this box over for you guys. And we'll take a peek at the top. It looks like a lot of stuffed animals, so this should be a fun one to do. As always, if you're new and you haven't seen my videos before, a lot of this stuff I have been getting rid of and putting up on my eBay, which is down below. There is a link that will take you right there if you want to look at some of the stuff I'm selling and maybe make a purchase. We got baby boy Stuart Cam. He is playing, it looks like, in a metal chair. Let's move that away from your face. And it looks like he's having tea time. It looks like he is just stirring the tea, his little tea. I'll have to see it. Cats are so weird. Okay, so the first box, we're gonna crack it off. Okay, so in this one we have on the top here is my Build-A-Bear Pumpkin Bear. I have a pretty decent collection of build bears but this one is very, very, very special to me. Backstory before my grandmother passed away literally like days before um we were always talking about going there and doing making one of these together because she thought it was so cute so i knew she was going to die so i got her voice when she was still coherent i love you grammy and well i drove to build a bear got the recording paid for it and then brought it back and made the bear um after she had passed, which was very difficult to go there and do it. It was very hard. Uh, but here is it's my bear. I was gonna say, here he is. He, she, I don't know. Here's my bear. I have a scent inside of it, which it still smells. I think it's like a pumpkin scent. I'm not really sure what it is, but it smells very fall. And it's just a really nice reminder. Um, I'm probably gonna put this on my bed with my other build a bear is just because it like really makes me think of my grandmother. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of webkins in here which is getting me excited. So we have the love frog webkin in here. I'm gonna shove that over there. Stuart, don't you even think about it uh, because I'm actually planning a project with my webkins. Stuart, leave it go. Leave it be. I have this webkin which has like a little mark in it. I actually might have to freaking cut out of the fur. I can't tell if it's a sticker. Oh, I just got it out. Anyways, here is this one and it has a tag attached still. It is the unicorn. Uh, I love this one a lot, so I'll be pushing that one over. We have my full size cow. I also have this cow in a mini for my childhood somewhere because it was like the first one I ever got, but I love that I have this one and to be honest i don't know if i found this at goodwill i don't know probably like where i got it from um actually my tiny cow is already in the project i'm working on we have another cow we have the brown cow so we have this cow i love webkins like a lot actually it was my childhood so that's probably why oh this is cute we have the webkins google so we have the white google i think they made white and light pink we'll have to see so we found that one um we have a panda bear webkin very cute i love this one a lot so we have him uh, a 
up on top here, we just have a empty animal crackers container, which is a bear. I'll probably just maybe sell it. I don't know if people sell these, people buy them, but I know at one point I had um, empty Bath and Body Works, like the glass candles, the uh, glass part, and people were buying those to make stuff out of, so you just never know. Uh, we have this stuffed animal rabbit, very, very cute. I love vintagey stuffed animals. Oh, here we go. We have my Coco dinosaur, which this is the only webkin I will not be putting into my project just because of the neck. For what I'm making, that could kind of like ruin the stuffed animal and I don't want to ruin the stuffed animal because this is from my childhood actually. I've had this one forever. Some of the webkins I did find at Goodwills, but this one I actually had growing up. So I think I'm gonna keep him out and put him on my bed. I like adore this one a lot. Uh, my dad actually bought it for me when I was getting surgery um, to get a tumor removed when I was 15. So I think that's why I have a connection to it because he bought that for me in the gift shop and I was a lame freaking 15 year old or 14, however old I was. And I loved Webkins. So I thought that was like the coolest thing coming out of like a major surgery that's like, oh, sweet, another one for the collection. Um, there's a sock in here, which is going to be thrown out. Love moving. Ooh, what is this? We have this little burrito pet. Have you guys ever seen these before? So it's a chihuahua in here. It comes with a card and then it's just like this little flat stuffed animal and it has a mark on its butt, usually like a chili pepper. Oh, I was obsessed with these, the Cutinos. And I think they've made like other ones since these, but this was like first release 2019. That's what it says on it. Cause 2019 was the year I was just like me and my grandmother would like go to Walmart. Like I said, I was her caregiver and we would just find like the coolest stuff. And yeah, I would add it to my toy collection. There you go. There's a chair in here. Probably one of the dolls I was sitting on. It's kind of dirty. I think for now I am selling it. I don't really need it. Um, oh, this is so cute. It is a crocheted rabbit. It's gonna be such a good job. There's a little bit of staining on it. I could probably try to lift out of the hand. So I'll put that aside for a get work on project because I have a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. Oh, this is cute. Uh, this is a cup and it says baked with a gingerbread man on it. That is super fun. I think I'm gonna put it with my holiday, like my Christmas stuff. So I can use it during that time of the year because truthfully I have so many mugs and stuff like that I need to have a separate thing of stuff like that to bring out during the holiday because I have too much stuff for during the year it's just kind of overwhelming we have another one that's a chihuahua um the tan one so I have the blue chihuahua and the tan chihuahua we have this little guy a webkins and littlekins the lion throw him over. This is from my childhood. My nanny bought this for me. I distinctly remember her saying she got it at Sears or something like that. And it is the Webkins. I think it's a goldfish. Yeah, goldfish. Fantail goldfish. Very freaking cute. I'm going to put that in for my project. Uh, here we have a Hello Kitty. A little bit of staining on there, which I could try to get off on the back of it. And it has a brand new tag with her i'll probably hold on to her and try to get that little bit of staining out on the side there i have some mini mouse dolls this one which i am gonna put on the cell pile and then we have this one as well if i just clean it off a little bit which i believe this one was my grandmother's this one with the satin dress, so I think I'm going to keep her. The other one might have been too, my grandmother's. It keeps like flipping up the dress there. Do you see that? So I'm just going to put it with my stuff. Um, ooh, I love these. These rag dolls. Ooh, I used to find these all the time. And can I tell you lately, I just don't ever see them. And this was like a staple item when I'd go to like flea markets, antique thingies, um, yard sales. I'd always see these rag dolls. I never see them anymore, but 
There is this one. She has a little bit of staining on her dress. Um, she's always had that staining since I've owned her. It doesn't really bother me because I don't think I can get it out. She is very, very old and yes, I am keeping her. Um, I don't have like a doll area set out. So as I'm doing this, just so you could visualize with me, like I put the stuff that needs to be worked on, like stuffed animals. So then when I'm done with the video, I just sort it all into the totes where it needs to go. Um, ooh, yes, love her. Here is another doll. Ooh, she's staying. Look at her little outfit, her little shoes. I love her. I don't know where I got her from, but she's very cute. So she is going to stay in my collection. I'll put her with the other doll right next to her. Ooh, there's one coming up that I absolutely adore, but I'm going to be careful getting her out. Uh, we have this clown gesture guy. I don't know if he goes in like maybe a plant or something. I'm going to use this to decorate though for Halloween. Um, he's really cool. I think I got this when I worked at AC Moore. That was like many years ago because they're not open anymore. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to put him aside. I do have like from the other video this I haven't found much Halloween stuff so I'm just gonna make like a Halloween thing in front of me I don't know if Stuart went oh there he is I was like you probably can't see him because of the lid I was like where has that boy gone <laughs> anyways moving on oh we have a candle down here called just love wild cherry blossoms is this it's burnt and it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so we're gonna keep that. We can burn that at some point. We have a lot of candles, so what's one more? We have a little stuffed animal of a alien. He is very cute, a little dusty. But here he is. I love um, alien stuff, like a lot, so I'll probably keep him for myself. Uh, I think this goes to something. It's a little pie. This might go to my one set. So I'm going to put it aside with the other sets that I need to put away. A little dusty. A little dusty. This is in here. We have a wagon. Oh, the things are coming out of it. What the hell? Okay, so we have a wagon with bolts coming out the bottom. If I could just figure out which way the bolts go. So the bolts are a little wobbly. It's not like it's gonna like fall out or anything. I don't know if I wanna put like a bunch of dolls in here. I don't know if I wanna use this outside and put some pumpkins or gourds in it outside the door. I don't know. This is exciting. This is standing out. That's very cute. Like, honestly, I could see me leaving that out all year and just putting different stuff in it. Down here, oh, I love this doll. Oh yeah. And I have her thing with it still too, her, uh, what is it called? Her tie, because that tells the whole story. So she is a little frightening looking. Um, she is made, <laughs> her stance, she's made out of clay. I forget which store I got this from. Like I see the place, I, I could drive there and know where it's at, but I couldn't tell you what it's called. So she was originally $20 and I guess that like from what is on her tag or whatever, like she was out on the floor all year. So like when I came about finding her, it was like maybe December or something like that. And the two on there means she was put out in February and she sat there and nobody bought her. I get why, cause she's kind of weird looking, but hi, it's me. Uh, so I got her and I gave her a home and I love this doll so freaking much. So she's obviously staying in my collection. And then last but not least, I think there might be something else underneath her. Ah, oh, she's heavy. What else is in here? What is this? I think this is for smoking. I don't know what this is. Or for hookah or something? Oh, this might be from my one, you know what, you know, if you're 420 friendly. I think that's what it's for. I'm not sure. But anyways, hi. This doll is freaking beautiful. As you know, I don't really collect porcelain, but there's just something about this one that I was like, um, I need her, like, now. Oh, she has, like, fake moss in her hair. Her hair is so freaking pretty. I'm just, like, checking her. I'm like, are you okay? Were you damaged? Because I'll cry. But she looks okay. So she does have a lot of weight to her, which is 
the point because it is a bisque doll. So bisque and porcelain are kind of the same, a little bit different. Um, that's why she has the weight to her. I've found a bisque, I used to actually find bisque dolls all the time. I haven't as of recently. There's one like thrift store that just gets them a lot in. I don't know why. So I think maybe one day I'll have to do like maybe a YouTube shorts of going to that thrift store and just seeing what they have and what's going on over there. Cause like I said, I haven't really been going out. I don't really feel the best the last week. Um, she is marked on here. So they made a thousand five hundred and she's number two forty six of the dolls and she's marked 1994 her name's tia and it's funny because i was born in 1994 so she is 30 years old and in great condition that is the end of this box thank you guys for tuning in and watching another one of these videos i like this one it had a lot of dolls in it a lot of different things kind of made me feel a little bit better um i think i'm gonna go lay down and relax so now and I will see you all tomorrow in my next video. Bye guys.